Thank you, Mr. Ongar. Ms. Pickett? Um, I'd like to start with wishing a happy Diwali. I believe that celebration was yesterday. So to families in our community who celebrate, um, happy Diwali to you. I encourage folks to do some research on that holiday um, and what that means to their culture. Um, first, I'm going to address some of your comments, Chris. Um, I'm super excited about Digital Citizenship Night. Um, a, I will definitely be participating as a family, but I can speak only for, for my comments during curriculum meetings, but I think I mentioned family partnership almost at every meeting about how are we getting family feedback in this or what does this look like? How do we share this with families? Um, and I think this is amazing um, and a great step. So thank you um, to Carrie and to those supporting this event um, and excited to participate. As far as your superintendent's advisory council, obviously um, the board had had some discussions around this. I fully support this being um, a superintendent um, council and not a board council. Um, I do want to just pick a little bit about how this council will be representative of our student population. Um, so personally, I would like to see that the makeup of this council actually match our student demographics, um, looking at um, race, ethnicity, language, um, ability, disability, socioeconomic status, actually having the council reflect our student population I think would be um, a really nice opportunity to ensure that we're hearing the voices um, that are representative of our families. Um, I was definitely sad not to be here last meeting. Um, EdSight is one of my favorite tools. The first time I came here as a parent, um, I referenced EdSight data. Um, and I think the important piece, and it's kind of, he left the room, but Mr. Janitis has commented about data. Data is a is an interesting thing. You can manipulate numbers to tell a story. Um, and I think that's why the importance of disaggregated data, which Chris referenced um, as far as what is our achievement, um, what does our data look like based on student subpopulations. Um, and I, I want to stress the importance of looking at disaggregated data because that's where our equity work really lies. Um, I am excited to hear more, Chris, um, thinking about our budget, about the implications of this data. Once we know more about the needs of our students and families, um, what does this mean? How are we reimagining how we're doing things? Um, how are we specifically addressing equity in our resources? What structures um, and supports and systems are we putting in place for staff? Um, and I'm going to use a slight language change here. We talk a lot about an achievement gap, um, but honestly, it's more of an opportunity gap. So thinking about how we provide opportunities to all students. Um, with your comment around partnering with families, um, I wholeheartedly agree with you. We expect a lot out of schools, and we expect schools to solve a lot of problems that they cannot solve alone. Um, so I also wonder if this is an opportune time for us to review our community partners, um, formalize some of our MOAs and MOUs, um, how do we work smarter, not harder? Um, and maybe it is really defining some of those amazing partnerships that already exist. I know we have some great partnerships, um, but looking at how that really supports a continuum um, of supports for our students and staff. Um, a couple things that I want to touch on as far as audience member comments and board member comments here tonight regarding restrictions on books. Um, I too would reference our equity statement that we all voted on um, and encourage folks to understand how A, access to information is critical and that representation matters. Um, so when we look at curricular resources, ensuring that they're representative of our students and students have access to information um, that resonates with them is really important. Um, and if we sign on to our equity statement, um, I encourage us to think about what does that mean in practice. Um, and then to you, Ms. Jackson, um, I have been thinking a lot about um, the incidents that happened to your son. Um, and I do not control Enfield Public Police Department. I don't control all of those things. I don't even control public schools. Um, I'm one board member. Um, up here. Um, but I have encouraged our district to look critically at our MOA with the Enfield Police Department. Um, what is the definition and roles and responsibilities of our SROs? What trainings and supports are they receiving? Um, how are they involved in our continuum of behavior responses? Um, and so when an incident happens, what is the role of an SRO? And how are families and students aware of um, when SRO's involvement is in included? Um, I also think we know, unfortunately, that these instances are predictable um, and that it's not unique. Um, so thinking about how we address hate, hate speech in school, um, when it's used student to student, um, things like that, what is our protocol? And what are some of our athletic protocols? So thinking around fundraising, um, 
game day speech, things that happen um, at, at athletic events. So I think there is work that we can do, and I, I have faith in our district and the equity work that we are um, embarking on that these matters will be addressed in a more holistic way. Um, I want to thank all the volunteers, teachers, student volunteers, businesses, and families that showed up to the Jack-O-Lantern Festival. Um, it's my, I think, favorite event. Um, I will say on the ride home, my second grader son said, Mom, this was the best night ever. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you to the folks um, who supported that. Um, I also received notification that Heritage Fair is back. Um, I fondly remember attending this at, I think it was at Stowe um, in the gym, um, like years ago. Um, and so they're looking for folks to help plan this. I really encourage people. There's a uh, first meeting is on Wednesday, November 9th at 6.30 at Alcorn. Um, you can also reach out to Amy Wipro um, to please consider helping plan this um, event. And Field Street School, um, again, I can't do the, the principal newsletter justice. I ask every family to make sure you're reading that or checking out Enfield PTO um, website. But there is a trunk or treat on Friday. Conferences are coming up. So please make sure you've made arrangements for conferences. Um, and we also have an upcoming book fair.